Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I'm gonna to be covering the Agua Gauntlet. And this is a weapon that you can get from Beasts of Burdens where you fight the Agua, um, the big turtle enemy, if you're not familiar what that is. And again, that's Beast of Burden. You can be awarded this weapon from. Just wanna say thank you too to all the new channel subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody. I, 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 from the bottom of my heart, I don't know what to say. You guys make my day every day with the comments and the likes and just checking out my videos. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Okay, so the Agua Gauntlet, this is what you get possibly if you do be suburban. It is a weapon that you can get and you have to have some luck to get it. I find it's, for me, I found it was a little harder to get than the Holy Fire, but maybe that's just RNG. Now, the Agua Gauntlet that I'm going to be showing in this video is an anti-armor, faster swing speed, plus one endurance. So I just wanted to make that clear before I get into it. The Juggernaut's effect isn't too bad, but I feel like the anti-armor is better, so I thought I would use that. And just for mutations that you would want to use in this build is Twisted Muscles, Talons, Speed Demon, Herd Mentality, and Carnivore are probably going to be the most useful serums that you would use if you're going to do a build for this. I just put this together very quick, but just thought I would go over some stuff. Uh, martial Artist, Incisor, and Iron Fist. Don't make the mistake of putting Gladiator on for this weapon. It will not buff the damage. You want Iron Fist, Incisor, Martial Artist. I highly recommend Radicool, Tenderizer, and Bloody Mess. Like I said, I did put together this... Um, build very quickly just to show you um, if you want to do the same amount of damage that I'm doing which is pretty much maxed out for the damage maybe some extra buffs that I could have taken advantage of but just wanted to show you just in case you wanted to follow the build that I made so as you can see it does a lot of damage now these are just super mutants they are level 100 though but you can see it almost just one shots them now this is pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with this weapon, if I have to say. Um, like, it's you probably are not going to want to go fight Earl with it. Um, can you make a build? Possibly. You know, I don't know what you can do with vats and whatnot, but just running around wise, I find this weapon very good. Are there better ones? I would say so, especially melees, like the chainsaw or the auto axe is probably still better than this. But as you can see, look what it does to a behemoth, still smashes them pretty quick. And like I said, regular enemies, this weapon just destroys them. It's a really fun weapon too, I have to admit. But again, um, like when you're fighting bigger enemies like a Marler Queen or even the behemoth, um, it's just a little bit dangerous to use. Now, this probably wouldn't have happened to me if I was using a vampire's weapon. Or, sorry, if I had a vampire's version of this. But, like I said, I wanted to use the anti-armor because I felt like the damage output would be a little bit higher. And, um, like I said, it's, it's definitely above average, but still not the best melee weapon. Is it worth using? If you're a melee character, yeah, then this is probably a must. But I don't know if you'd want to dedicate a whole character to this weapon per se. Um, again, like look at me just smashing ghouls. Like you're going to one shot everything below um, a level 100 uh, super mutant pretty much. Like you're just going to one, you're going to pummel them as you can see I'm doing here. And again, it, like I had a lot of fun using this today. I used it for, you know, at least three or four hours I would say something like that making this video. And it was a lot of fun. Like just destroyed a deathclaw here. Absolutely destroyed him. And here's me versus a Sheep Squatch, which I thought was a pretty cool fight. Um, yeah, even with the Sheep Squatch, like, they're not as tanky as they used to be, I swear. And you can see, like, the Chainsaw or the Auto Axe probably would have taken them out a little bit quicker. Just to, just to compare it. Here's me fighting a Mire Alert Queen. You can see it's doing lots of damage, but she does get the better of me and ends up, you know, smacking me into another dimension here. Again, if I had a Vampires, I'm sure this wouldn't happen to you, but then you're going to give away some DPS. 
Again, like I said, I would probably just stick to regular enemies if you're going to use this and maybe have a chainsaw or an auto axe in your back pocket if you're going to take out bigger enemies. But again, that's like what I said, right? If you want to just, you know, if you are a melee build, then this is definitely a must weapon for you. And, and, and like I said, I had a lot of fun with it. It's even fun worth just trying. I, I would highly recommend just trying it and even making your own opinion on it, everybody. Um, let me know if I missed anything in the comments. I love reading your comments as I always say I'll get back to you as fast as I can and Thanks for being so knowledgeable everybody all the points and the stuff and the feedback that you guys give me um, Just make these videos that much better, and I just want you to know. I really appreciate that stuff um, Thank you so much for watching everybody have a fantastic day